Greetings, gun enthusiasts. I have results to share from my latest shoot using 22 Magnum Gold Dots and Hornady Critical Defense with the polymer tips removed, like so. Here's a gold dot for comparison with the uh, with the critical defense. They look really similar once the polymer tips are taken out. Um, all right, I've lined up the ruler at about nine and a half inches because this is the second block. The first block is nine and a half inches long. And as you can see, we got some very, very deep penetration. Here's one of the bullets went 15 and a half. Uh, one of the bullets actually did clog up and fail to expand and exited the, the back of the second block. That's 19 full inches of gel penetration. You can see where it tumbled right there in the wound track is this extra wide spot, kind of a bubble formed right here. That's where the bullet finally did tumble, right about inch 15. Yeah, line this up at the back here. Nine and a half inches, maybe even inch 16, and just tumbled that deep in the wound, dumped its its uh, denim plug just before exiting. So you can see forensically what's going on. Now that's excellent penetration, obviously. It's over penetration, in fact. But it does indicate we did not get expansion. Now we were doing four layers of denim. We've seen both of these rounds uh, succeed in four layers of denim. And I believe we are also seeing that both of these rounds have now failed in four layers of denim. So it all depends, you know, on each individual round or each individual gel batch or whatever it is that makes the difference. You have to t test multiple bullets. Wait a minute, let me get a measurement on these before I start prying them out. Test multiple rounds before you can draw substantial conclusions. Looks like that gold dot did tumble, but did expand and did go at least 15 and a half inches into the gel column. Now, in other tests, we've seen these come in a little shorter than that, particularly with um, with fewer layers of denim. With more denim, you do get deeper expansion or deeper penetration because you get delayed expansion. That is complete expansion. Good work, Gold Dot. Now we shall see what the other two rounds are and see which which round it was that over-penetrated. Here, this one went 16, almost 16 and 3 quarters. Dig that out. That is indeed, you can tell by the base, That is a critical defense. That's a Hornady. I'll show you how I know. So gold dots have that dimple. Okay, so here we have a critical defense that clogged and failed in the four-layer denim test. Have not seen that in four-layer, in, in, in any clothing barrier before. But, you know, four layers is a tough, uh, is a tough, is a rigorous, rigorous threshold rigorous bar to pass. Once again, line up nine and a half inches. Let's see what that other bullet is. Again, just over 15 inches on this one, so similar to the gold dot. Oh, well, just about 15 and three quarter. Get down in there. Dig that one up and see which one it is. Aha! Uh -huh. It's the other Hornady. It does have some expansion, but came to rest base first. This, they, um, they tend to tumble. But yeah, this one expanded. This one exhibits expansion. So one successful expansion for the Hornady, at least partial expansion. One full expansion for the Gold Dot. And of course then... This the other Hornady. The round that went all the way through was a gold dot. So we had one gold dot clog, one gold dot expand, one FTX clog, and one FTX expand. And those two went about 15 and three quarters and 16 and three quarters inches. 
All right. Very good. At least we have more data and people can draw their own conclusions. Obviously, this gel turned out to be um, a less dense batch than, uh, than some of the previous ones because we got pretty deep penetration. All right. Thanks, folks. Geographies are out.